What do you want? Don't get your wings in a twist. I want to talk to that guy, not you. I gotta thank you for helping. I mean, Cheris, not me. If you want to know more about her, I can help you out. Then we'll head for the bridge construction site first. All right. I'll come as soon as I can. If you see a Screeper, do not engage it. Get the workers to safety first. Yes, sir! Cheris, Captain of the Guard, graces us with her presence. Not enough monsters to gallivant about with today? Vice General Graf, you should hold your tongue. If my guard is outside the castle often, it is because your men are inadequate to the task of fighting Screepers. Well, excuse me, Princess. If you don't mind, I've got a report to make. Damn lapdog of Stens. I know how you feel, Lady Sheris, but don't let him get to you. I know, but he's been goading me for some time now. If my brother weren't so ill, he'd put Uncle Sven in his place. Is His Majesty not feeling well? Yes. The doctors are doing what they can, but... It would have been nice if my lady had assumed the throne. Tradition has it that only males can ascend the throne. I'm content just helping my brother. Well, I'll be off. Inspecting the Southeast Bridge? Have a safe trip. Screeper sightings are on the rise. Please be careful. There's something suspicious about my brother's illness. Is someone poisoning him? Could that happen without the doctor finding out? It seems impossible. But we can't overlook anything. I should investigate that later. Once again, that admonisher looms above us all. I wonder what General Rockbine was thinking. He's not the type to roll over and die. Greetings, Lady Sheris. Greetings. How goes the work? That mutant Screeper attack set the construction back quite a bit. They're on break right now. I see. I'll take a look around. Be careful.
Are you going back, milady? Yes. There's nothing I can do to speed up construction. Oh! It, it's here! No. Get the workers to safety. We can't lose any of them. Yes, sir. The workers should take shelter here. Are you hurt? We're all right. Thank you. No casualties here either. Good. Why, hello, Lady Sheriff. How do you do? Manus, have you come to suck up to my uncle again? 
Oh, now, why would I do something like that? Lord Sven is certainly a dear patron of mine. But I'm just here to deliver what my associates asked me to. Now, if you'll excuse me. Sure. Everyone wants to get on my uncle's good side. It's as if my brother is already dead. But come to think of it, my brother's condition worsened as soon as Manus started coming around. I wonder... Sheriff's. Hey, Safia. You on patrol? Yes. I just finished looking around the forest, so I was about to head back. Okay. Oh, uh, did you see that merchant Manus come this way? Manus? I don't know him, but a merchant did walk by. Did something happen? I'm just checking on something. If you want to find him, I'll help. Aren't you tired? You just finished a patrol. That's okay. If I can fight at your side, the fatigue just disappears. All right. Thanks. Don't mention it. Us lady soldiers would do anything for you, Captain. for free. Pay the toll if you want to pass. Are you kids from Joanna? Pay the toll if you want to pass. And how much is this toll? Really, really expensive. Ten thousand golden. Ten thousand golden? Huh? I've never heard of a currency called golden. Oh well. We'll try again later. So, this is Joanna. I wonder if that merchant is here. We can't let Manus get away. Search carefully. Gracious, me and mine, Lady Sheris. It's been a while, Dr. Randall. I've heard before that you lived in Joanna, and here you are. Well, my abode is quite humble, but do please stay for a while. Thank you. There was something I wanted to ask you. Ask away, my lady. Do you know a merchant named Manus? He peddles his wares quite regularly here, but I'm certain I haven't seen him all this year. Strange. You're sure he headed this way? I'm sorry. If you see him, please let us know. I shan't forget. If I can help you in any other way, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you. Dr. Randall, 
Have you heard of a currency called Golan? Golan? I confess it belongs to no country I know. The kids at the mine were talking about it. The mines? Were those scoundrels in there again? It's dangerous there. I've told them time and again. Is something wrong, Doctor? I'd better go retrieve those little hellions again. How many times must I say it? These mines are not safe. I'm sorry, Mr. Randall. Back to town with you. Terribly sorry about all this. I'm sure the Cyrilian Guard can handle themselves, but the lower reaches may be filled with gas. How did the arrangements go? Smooth as silk. Good. Now we'll see the back of the current king without all that tedious poisoning. Got you. What are they talking about? These traitors are out to kill my brother. What? Here's the money we promised you. Thanks ever so. I'll be going now. Lady Sheriff, he's getting away! Damn! Stop right there! I heard everything! Is that Lady Sheriff? She's seen us! We'll have to kill her! Sorry, Safia, but I'll need your help! We can't let Manus escape! Just tell me what to do and I'm on it.
Any traitors still standing? Now then. Ah! Tell me everything you know. I just delivered a letter to someone. What kind of letter? To whom? An assassin called Flame Edge. I don't know what it said. But you must know what it is about. P probably a contract to assassinate his majesty. When? Talk, damn it! I don't know the details. I, in the next few days. Flame Edge? I've heard that name before. Even criminals fear it. If this is true, we can't let Flame Edge get into the castle. You're right. There are too many places to hide there. The town is our only chance. You, tell me everything you know about Flame Edge. I couldn't see clearly behind that hooded cape, but judging by the voice, I'd say Flame Edge is a woman. What else? That's all I know! Quickly, let's return to Cyriltia. Knowing she's a woman isn't much of a clue. I think there was a commanding officer in some unit who kept track of rumors regarding assassins. Which unit is it? I can't remember. They worked outside the castle, though, not in my forest patrol unit. Greetings, Lady Sherris. Got a question for you. Do you know any Flame Edge? Flame Edge? The female assassin? That's the one. I need you to tell me what you know about her. I hear her preferred method is to sneak into the target's home and do the job while it's dark. She's very careful and stakes out the site beforehand. I hear she wears heavy clothes to do so. So, she examines the target's home heavily dressed. What else? She always fulfills her requests and won't give up if she fails the first time. And, uh, she's supposed to hate fish. I think that's it. Thanks. We can use that.
Lady Sheriff, if Flame Edge gets away... She'll be a lot more careful next time. We'd never be able to find her. We get one shot at this. Right! Way. Boss, this place is too crowded. Go that away. Slow these do gooders down, boys. Uh, she had allies. Lady Sheriff, we can't let Flame Edge get away now! You're right. Let's go! Over. We did it, Lady Sheriff! Yes. Now we can find out who wants my brother dead. <laughs> find out from who? I'm a pro to the end. <sighs> what the... poison? There goes our chance to catch Uncle Sven red-handed. Shiris's action prevented the murder of her brother, the King of Cerultia. Sadly, Flamed Edge's suicide erased any evidence that might have led Shiris to the plot's mastermind. However, after the incident, Lord Sven went into hiding. Without Sven's backing, Vice General Graf decided that his ploy to grab power would have to be put on hold. From here out, it's all you. <laughs> <laughs>